Violence and bullying have become all too common in schools across America. In a recent study, the National School Safety and Security Services ranked Ohio at the top of the list among states with the most school threats during the first half of the school year. A nationwide increase of school threats prompted Ohio officials to seek legislation governing Ohio school safety plans and the creation of the Safer Schools Ohio Initiative. The initiative is part of the Center for P-20 Safety and Security. Well, the Center for P-20 Safety and Security is a combined effort between the Ohio Board of Regents and the Ohio Department of Education. It combines security and safety initiative and efforts for K-12, preschools, and higher education. Center personnel focus on school climate, safety, security, and emergency management concerns in K-12 and higher education, providing guidance and direction to promote physically safe and emotionally secure environments for students, educators, and staff. As part of the Safer Schools Ohio initiative, the Ohio Department of Education has an analyst assigned to Ohio Homeland Security. Having an analyst embedded in the state's fusion center is very important to us. At the time, we were only one of two states in the nation. Now I believe we're one of three states in the nation that has an analyst, a full-time analyst, dedicated to the state's fusion center. That becomes very important as we integrate the information that comes into the fusion center via the tip line and other sources to make sure that that information is handled and processed in the appropriate way. The initiative was charged with mobilizing resources from analysts at Ohio Homeland Security to professors at the University of Findlay to inform our educators, community leaders, parents, students, local law enforcement, and fire officials about the importance of having an up-to-date safety plan, as well as providing Ohio schools the tools they need to keep Ohio's children safe. Um, having a safety plan is critically important. Uh, keeping our students and staff safe here at Minster is a high priority for us. Uh, so having the complete plan, an updated plan, using best practices is what's critically important. A U.S. Department of Homeland Security funded training course developed by the University of Findlay allows schools throughout Ohio to address key safety and security factors using an all-hazards approach. Offered by the university's all-hazards training center, the 16-hour course teaches collaborative strategies to key decision makers from schools, law enforcement, emergency response agencies, local government, and the community to better plan, prepare, communicate, respond, and recover from a school-based incident. The University of Finley training provided us an opportunity to assess our current plan and provided us a focus for an improved plan. And so the process was most instrumental in bringing all of the stakeholders together. We had our fire chief, our police chief, our EMS representative, we had the county sheriff as well as our Auglaize County EMA professionals all in one room speaking the same language. One of the resources provided to schools is an anonymous tip line. Tips received are analyzed by threat assessment and prevention analysts in Ohio Homeland Security. Well, the TAP unit is a threat assessment and prevention unit um, with Department of Public Safety and we're housed with Ohio Homeland Security. Uh, the TAP unit's main role is to uh, man the 844-SAFER-OH tip line, which was implemented from a study between the U.S. Secret Service and the U.S. Department of Education that shows that in 81% of school violent attacks, someone other than the attacker knew about the attack, um, knew something about it, and didn't say anything for fear of being identified. Um, so the tip line is completely free. It's also completely anonymous, um, and it's used to fill that gap, to decrease that 81%. Um, the TAP unit is there to... Uh, facilitate any tips that come in to analyze the content and to pass it along to law enforcement, um, to the Department of Education, to the schools, or whoever needs to know that information. The Ohio Department of Education and the Ohio Department of Public Safety launched the 844-SAFER-OH tip line that accepts both calls and text messages 24 hours a day. Callers can anonymously share information with school officials and law enforcement about threats to student safety, whether that involves a threat to the entire school or a single student. When a tip comes in either through the 844 safer h phone line or through the texting feature, um, the TAP unit members receive that tip. We analyze information that we've been given. Um, we search any open source information that we can find, social media, as well as our internal databases. Um, and then based on whether the tip is criminal in nature or non-criminal, 
uh, depends on who we give that information out to. So if it's criminal in nature, it's going to be law enforcement agencies as well as other partnerships within the, within the Fusion Center. Um, and if it's not, we will also include Ohio Department of Education in on it, as well as the supervisors and school administrators at the school. As a mom who happens to be a state representative, this initiative is very important to me. All parents expect children to learn at school and to have a nurturing environment to excel academically. But we also expect and demand for our children to be safe. And the tip line is one tool in the toolbox that administrators, teachers, parents, and students can utilize when they see suspicious activity, something posted on social media, or perhaps just odd behavior. And every little tip counts because as these anonymous tips are coming in, it'll paint a picture that perhaps will prevent a tragedy. The TAP unit is staffed 24 hours a day, 365 days a year by analysts who are not only committed to safety in schools, but are highly trained. The, the TAP team has received multiple trainings from um, the FBI active shooter training. We've also received training from U.S. Secret Service. Um, they have their own threat assessment team, and they came here to Ohio to um, teach us for school threat assessments as well as workplace violence. Um, we've also been through University of Finley training. As part of the Safer School Ohio initiative, infrastructure protection specialists from Ohio Homeland Security review and evaluate Ohio schools' emergency management and safety plans to provide guidance to school administrators and officials on how to further develop and improve their plans to ensure best safety practices are implemented. Once they create that plan, we have an evaluation tool that will give it a holistic look and look at the entire uh, program parameters to make sure that everything is firing on all cylinders. So we want to make sure that we have everything covered from fire alarms to bomb threats to active shooter events to ensure that your uh, child has a safe environment at his or her school. Under the new Ohio Revised and Administrative Code, schools are now required to not only submit a comprehensive emergency management plan, but review their plans each year and conduct emergency training drills so students and teachers can practice what to do in the case of an actual emergency. With the new law, there are uh, several changes, uh, one of which is actually mandating that there are four different components to a school safety plan. Uh, whereas before, we were looking at solely the floor plan or the security plan, uh, we're looking at not only those two, but also adding the emergency contact listing as well as a site plan, which is like an outdoor snapshot of the school, which can help first responders when they're responding to an emergency at that school. For schools that do not meet these new requirements, the statute imposes penalties up to revocation of an administrator's license. School administrators are encouraged to visit saferschools.ohio.gov for a complete list of resources available through the Safer Schools Ohio program. I would encourage all superintendents to get involved in this program. It is free to all schools throughout Ohio. And keep in mind, we all know that you are deeply passionate in creating a nurturing environment for children. But remember, the children want to feel safe. And if there are children struggling themselves or a friend, this could be a tool for them to call anonymously to help themselves or someone else. And we all want to prevent a tragedy from happening.